Hi everyone. Welcome to YouTube channel CA Sansar. Myself CA Deepak Gar and I'm here again with another interesting excel trick wherein we will learn how to calculate the number of years it takes for an investment to multiply. You must have heard about the rule of 72 114 144 wherein if we divide the rate of interest with these numbers then we get an approximate number of years in which our investment will become double triple or say five times but instead of learning these numbers let us use a simple excel formula to determine the time the investment will take to grow x number of time so let's understand this with the help of an example in this example we have assumed investment amount as 2 lakh rupees interest rate per annum is 12% and investment multiplier is 5 times that means we need to find the number of years it will take for 2 lakhs rupees to become 10 lakhs so for this we are going to use the formula npar the agency npar has five different arguments so let us first understand each argument in detail so the first argument is the rate simply stands for the interest rate per period this can be on a monthly basis quarterly basis or annual basis pmt stands for total number of payment periods which means the number of installments or the number of payments that is recurring in nature and we are going to do it on an annual basis present value means the value that we are investing on day 1 in our case it will be 2 lakhs fp means future value you can see fp is in square brackets so that means it is an optional argument so future value is the value that we want our investment to become the last argument is type as you can see type is also in square bracket that means it is also an optional argument it has got two options one is zero and another is one zero means end of the period one means beginning of the period so let's say if we are investing on day 1 then we will apply one and in some of the cases let's say if we are withdrawing money then we will apply zero in the end so now let's get back to our example so here i will put the formula npar bracket open it is asking me to input rate i will select the cell b4 put comma it is asking me to input pnt so we just understood that pnt means any recurring payment that we are going to make in the future years since it is a one time investment so i will put zero comma it is asking me to input present value so today's present value of our investment is 2 lakhs i will apply a minus sign and select cell b3 minus sign because this is a cash outflow for me press comma now i want my investment to become five times the amount that i am investing today so i will simply select cell number b3 multiply it by cell number b5 so it means today i am investing 2 lakh rupees but my future value should be the amount that i am investing today multiply it with the multiplier press comma since this is an investment this will always be at the beginning of the period i'll press 1 close the bracket and you will see the outcome is 14.2 years so that means my money 2 lakh will become 10 lakhs after 14 years at 12% rate of interest now we can also verify the accuracy of this outcome so to verify this we can use the formula future value that is fv bracket open it is asking me to input rate i will select the cell b4 comma it is asking me to input nper so nper is 14.2 i will simply select the cell b7 it is asking me to input pmt so as explained before pmt means any recurring payment since this is a one time investment i will put zero press comma it is asking me to input present value which is minus 2 lakh rupees comma it is asking me the type i will select one close the bracket and press enter now as you can see 
my investment was 2 lakh rupees the rate of interest was 12% and the multiplier that i wanted was 5 so my total investment will become 10 lakhs after 14.2 years so let's say if i change the percent rate of interest now let let's say if i change it to 15% and i also change the investment multiplier to 7 so my total investment that is 2 lakh rupees today will become 14 lakhs in a time span of 13.92 years similarly if i change the multiplier to 10 my investment will become 20 lakhs in a time span of 16.48 years so you can simply tweak the rate of interest or multiplier using this excel spreadsheet i hope you like this video thank you so much